Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back for another brand's new video and today's video is the return finally of the Rangers rumour series because there's been a lot of rumours out there, a lot of transfer BS that we've all been kind of laughing at, rolling our eyes and saying well that is absolutely made up nonsense so we've been waiting and we've been waiting for Sun to get our teeth stuck right in and that's exactly what we have today ladies and gentlemen as we are here to talk about one Rangers rumour that isn't gone away and it's only like this office right now with all this lights and the heat outside getting hotter. But aye, as we do, go ahead and battle the old heat if you didn't mind helping the old channel out as we are on the final stretch now of the 50k marker, which is absolutely bonkers to think about. We are less than 300 away from that magical milestone, so if you can help us out, that'd be greatly greatly appreciate. But aye, something else that would be greatly appreciated is if I just get on with the actual video then, shall we? And as you can tell by the tilt, you can tell by the thumbnail, and you can tell just about the vibe and the atmosphere about the place. We are here to talk about the one, the only, Joey Veerman. Now as always with these types of videos we will try to break down as much as we can about the player, the rumour and if there is anything in this at all ladies and gentlemen but before we do get to whether or not we think there is anything in this let's go and check the player profile, let's check the old football and CV and discuss the old competition for places and see if this rumour should be. Starting off with the old player profile, Joey Veerman is a 22 year old 6 foot 1 centre defensive mid slash centre mid slash play wherever you want son because you're that good at kicking the old football round. The man is a primarily a right footed player but he's very comfortable on his left. He can ping it, he can pass it, he can skill it. Nearly as comfortable on his left hand side as he can on his right. Now some of you may have just heard me say CDM there and some of you have got the fear thinking wait a minute CJ I thought this guy was going to get us goals, I thought this guy was going to go ahead and get us assists, don't worry that's exactly what this man does because yes he may line up in the CDM role over in the Dutch league but it's very different than what we ne maybe necessarily think of when we think of a central defensive midfielder. This man isn't an enforcer, a, a bull in the middle that's going to get the ball back, pass it sideways and let someone else go ahead and make things happen. Na 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 na. He is the player that likes to get on the ball and try to make things happen. Whether it's carrying the ball 15, 20 yards from kind of in his own half all the way forward to try and slip in an attacker in behind the defence or willing to have a shot on his own. His box-to-box -box ability has honestly been sensational over in Holland and the way he reads a game, the way he can already dictate a game at the age of just 22, it's no wonder why there's so many good reports about how fantastic of a player this man is and just how simply underrated he is right now. So I don't be put off if you see that he's listed as a CDM or he's gone as a CDM, that's not the type of player he is, he is the true definition of a box to box player and he loves getting on the ball, he's so skillful on the ball as well, he's 6 foot 1 but he's no cumbersome, he's no foreign or all the other place, he's fast as well with the boys. honestly such an intelligent, intelligent player and something that I just mentioned a couple of seconds ago was getting forward and willing to have a strike from range, well that is what this man brings ladies and gentlemen, a midfielder that if he gets given that much of a space will unleash a shot, whether it's on his right foot, whether it's on his left foot, whether he's just outside the box within his 30 yards. The man loves to get a shot and test the goalkeeper. And given this man's track record of at least hitting the old target, this is a very, very exciting thing to possibly add to this current midfield of Rangers. And I genuinely think that attribute and what he brings to the table, if he does come up the road, will be one of the first things that we fall in love with is he will shoot if there's an option to shoot. Now though it's time to transition away from the old player profile and get to some numbers and stats because it's a stat generation these days ladies and gentlemen and whenever we are linked with a player it's one of the first things that people love to go and see, they love to get a wee check up to get an idea of what we're bringing to the football club and this guy's stats in his most recent season of football there's certainly a lot to love because last season he played a total of 35 matches in all competitions, this man scored 9 goals and got 11 assist people. That is 20 goal contributions in 35 games from the centre of the old park. Oh man, the plums, the plums are plumping! But those incredible stats from last season doesn't even paint the full picture. We need to go a wee bit deeper here on the old channel because something that I think is worth noting about last season for Joey Veerman is the fact that he didn't always play in his best area in the park, which is again central well at CDM or centre mid. He also played eight games as a left winger and two games up 
Followed up the park just behind the old striker. But what's so damn impressive about this lad is it doesn't matter where you play him, left wing or just behind the striker, he's either scoring or assisting in every position that he played last season. That's a joke, ladies and gentlemen. A genuine joke. I had to double check, triple check, go into these games and look at it to make sure somebody wasn't pulling my leg. This guy right here is a game changer and when I look into that and when I think about that, something that lives rent free in my head is something that Gerard said last season when he was talking about Joe Rebo after that game versus Livingston when Gerard said good players can play football, top players can play anywhere and in that he was referring obviously to Rebo's ability but this lad right here exactly fits the mould with that as well because that's the exact type of talent he is, you can put him anywhere in that midfield and he will make things happen and his stats and his statistics and what he's already done in such a young career so far backs that claim right up and that's what I love about this potential sign in as well he is another game changer very much the same ilk of a Ryan Kent a Glenn Kamara a Joe Aribo a Hadji you can quite clearly see what Gerard's trying to inject into this Rangers team and what he likes from his players. Players that aren't just going to play their single role and just stay that. No, he wants players that when they go over that white line can go where they need to go to make things happen when it's needed in a game. And again, he's cut from the same cloth as every single one of them. And adding him to that midfield, if we can keep all those pieces, oh man. The plums are about to plump off. But I, I need to pull in the reins a little bit. Sorry, I'm getting a wee bit distracted in how talented this man actually is because we're supposed to be talking about some numbers and stats. So let's pull in the reins a little bit and take a step back and look at this entire man's footballing CV. Again, at the age of just 22 years old. He has played 142 professional matches in which he has scored 26 goals and has 28 assists, which again is very encouraging to read. But you know, son, as we try to always get Give you a wee bit more information on the channel again we need to go deeper into those stats because a lot of those games are actually second division football over in Holland when this man was coming up when he was getting a wee couple minutes here a couple minutes here over the last few years if you just narrow in on the top flight the hardest league in Holland the toughest competition that he's had to play alongside with the cup he obviously plays in this man has played 67 games he has scored 14 goals and grabbed 18 assists that is 32 goal contributions in 67 matches that there is just straight up mental honestly that is just straight up madness this man nearly averages a goal or assist every two games and he's still a young laddie ladies and gentlemen it's absolutely frightening considering the fact that he does primarily play in the center of the park anyone who might be a little bit put off with this or a wee bit nervous about this signing Denny B every single time this man is given the opportunity to play at a higher level with tougher competition with the quality rising his quality rises to the fore not only does it go there and meet it he's gone above it and above it and that is why again so many people are talking about this lad about how good he actually is sorry that I've got so much pom-poms in today's video I try and keep these videos balanced and I try and bring up some negatives but but there's very, very little negatives to put, honestly, about this lad or I would try to make this video balance. He's honestly just a brilliant footballer. But moving on then, shall we? We do have one final stop before we get to the rumour and where it's came from and if I believe anything is actually in this. And that's obviously going to be the old competition for places, which genuinely should take us all one minute to answer. Is this type of player needed in the midfield of Rangers? Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, this is the type of marquee signing that you need at a football club. And I think if you look over the years, uh, what Steven Gerrard has done, he's usually had this signing. He's obviously had Ryan Kent for the wingers. He's had Kamaru for the attackers last season. He's had Holanda in the back line. There's usually been that guy signing with a wee bit of money. And this one right here looks to be our one if they are able to get him up the road and people can talk about the, the numbers and that in our midfield well look at last season when injuries and suspensions and everything happened we were down to bare bones if you're adding mere quality the likes of Lundstrom and you're talking about Veerman in replace of guys like Zongu who unfortunately couldn't go ahead and make it that is for me is sensational business and planning from Mr Ross Wilson and Steven Gerrard and I think if you look at the midfield now of Rangers you've got the likes of Namdi Offerbore adding the defensive strength you've got Davis who can is honestly just a, just a guy there that just sits there with the orchestra you've got Scotty Affield when he's able to get on that park he can add 
an attacking threat. You've got Ryan Jack now back, fully fit for the first time in about 18 months now. He's cleared from the surgery. Glenn Kamara, Joe Arebo, and of course, in that central position, Hadji. We've got a bit of everything when you sprinkle in our boy Veerman. So to me, it's not Glenn Kamara or Joey Veerman. It is both pulling on the Rangers jersey. And that's pretty much it for the old competition for places. In terms of individually, where do I think he would line up? In a Rangers team, genuinely he could play the Davis role and behind the two midfielders. He could play the two box-to-box -box style midfielders. We've seen the like, say, Scotty Arfield, Ryan Jack, Glenn Kamara play. And he could even play in the wee bit more advanced role that we have in Hadji right now. He ticks every single box and that's more strength and depth there as well. But I, with that being said, that is Joey Veerman, the football player. Hopefully you know a little bit more about the player now so you can let me know your thoughts and opinions down there in the comment section below. But before we actually go ahead and get there. Let's talk about the actual rumour. Is it just made up nonsense? Is there anything in this? Do I think this signing will happen? Well, despite a couple of red flags from certain news outlets and that reporting on this story, where they're actually getting their stories from seems to be pretty solid and you're getting a lot of people and like like what I say with the Sakala one as well when there's so much smoke and it's over such a consistent amount of time there's usually a wee bit of fire this isn't one that's just came up over the last two weeks because there's no football hang this story didn't come about because the Euros ended and they need to sell clicks or anything like that no this has been going on months and months and instead of getting quieter it's getting louder and that for me along with everything I've said in today's video about how talented of a footballer he is and how much he would fit with what Steven Gerrard has brought in to the football team makes me think there is something in this, ladies and gentlemen. And genuinely, I wouldn't be surprised to see Joey Veerman over the next, within the next week holding up the old Rangers shot. Now, a potential spanner in that works of the dream signing of Joey Veerman is, of course, the moolah that it would cost us. We've obviously rejected a bid from Italy, which was rumoured to be about £5 million and everything like that. So it is going to cost a little bit to get on. But that wouldn't surprise me if Rangers does. Only the moon howlers come out here and say, where's the money coming from? Every time Rangers have needed that player to get them to that next level, our board has delivered and with the possible chance of Champions League football and all the money that brings, the investment of bringing Veerman in there that can play when the likes of Glenn Kamara can't because he's suspended, it's an absolute no-brainer ladies and gentlemen so I, I look forward to hopefully seeing Joey in a Rangers shirt very very soon and with all that now officially being said that's as officially done and dusted with today's video now i'd love for you guys to get involved down there in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on joey veerman and do you think the man is coming up the road let me know your thoughts and opinions down there in the comment section below and as always i will be chatting to you down there if you get involved but until next time ladies and gentlemen i've been cedron over 92 thank you so much for watching and bye